<coughs> hey, yo, guys. I want to say something that's really important for people to know. Don't feel bad for not knowing how to communicate for pe to people, not knowing how to express yourself, not knowing how to treat people, how to treat yourself, everything like this. It's really important to understand that we're not born knowing these things. We learn these things through experience. That's why it's really important to make mistakes. And sometimes you're going to make mistakes and it can get you in trouble and people cannot like you. But sometimes we have to go through things in order to know what's the right thing to do. We have to learn from our mistakes. We're supposed to learn how to treat ourselves and treat others from our families. But from the you know, the climate of the world right now, the frequency of the world is not in a high vibrational state. So most of our families aren't really teaching us what we need to teach, what we need to know. But what they will teach us is negative shit. They will teach us what not to do. So we put that onto others and not even realizing it's the wrong thing to do because our family saw us these things. So I want you guys to understand that it's okay to not know. It's okay to be incompetent. It's okay to, to fuck up. It's okay to 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 make mistakes in a non malicious way. You know, people may not like you for it. People may be upset. All these different things, but how can you expect to do the right thing if you were never taught what the fuck how to do these things? Right? It reminds me of like jobs I worked. So many jobs I worked, they expect for me to know everything. Um, dude, this, this first day of work, how the fuck am I supposed to know all these different things, right? Same thing with, like, my family when I was young. They expect for me to know all these different things, and they'll get hard on me, be hard on me if I, if I don't know something or whatever. They'll, like, rush me, all these different things, put a lot of pressure on me. But, dude, I'm a child. How the fuck am I supposed to know these things? And you're not teaching me it. You're just yelling at me, you know? That's something, that's the reason why I'm trying to tell you guys, like, a lot of us don't know anything. And something that I remember back in, like, high school, you know, people would teach you, adults would teach you, you know, don't make mistakes, be perfect, all this shit. But, dude, all that's going to do is make you afraid to make mistakes, make you afraid to be yourself, and take risk. And in order to grow, you have to take risk. You have to make mistakes. Shut the fuck up. How are you gonna know what's right and what's wrong if you're not fucking up? If you're not, if you're afraid to fuck up, then you're afraid to be your your best version of yourself. You can't be the best version of yourself if you don't fuck up. Because how are you gonna know what you should do and what you shouldn't do if no one's telling you the right thing to do, and if you're too afraid to make mistakes? You're just going to end up being like everyone else. And then what you're going to do is just follow the masses and you're going to be a sheep and you're going to copy people. And you're not going to be yourself. Fuck up. Fuck up a lot. The thing I say about fucking up, just don't fuck up. Just don't be malicious about it. Don't fucking maliciously hurt people. Don't maliciously hurt yourself. Don't do things out of spite. But fuck up. It's like, okay, if this goes wrong and doesn't go the way I want it to go, at least I know, I, at least I gain knowledge now. At least I know okay, this isn't the right thing to do. Or, okay, I can keep doing it, but I know not to do this, I know not to do that, I know not to do this. Something that I, I say for people to do to build your confidence up, work on skills. Learn yourself and work on skills. I know so many skills because I just teach myself so many different things, right? And it helps me learn things so fast because I'm able to tie things together and it helps me understand things about life way more just learning skills the most skillful people and i'll just mean like skillful like in one thing like i know not to bash people but i know there's like some athletes they're only like amazing at football and everything else they're not good at but i mean like people who are like really skillful at so many things they're extremely intelligent and very empathetic and very spiritual even if they're not even spiritual like that they just might be subconsciously like they're just really advanced because they just learn just learn you can't be afraid if you want to learn. You have to embrace all these different things. Something I want to say really important is whatever you've done in your past, 
I don't give a fuck what the government says. I don't give a fuck what your family says. I don't give a fuck what stranger says. As an arbiter, as an arbiter, as an arbiter, whatever fucking mistakes you made in your past, I don't give a fuck. As long as you weren't doing shit out of spite, you are apprehended for that shit because it wasn't your fault. You were supposed to be raised, right? Your family's supposed to teach you what you're, what you're supposed to know in order to, to survive in the world and to thrive in the world. They did not teach you what you need to learn. And I've seen that from my own experience because my family has done that with me as well. You're apprehended for that. I do hope you understand that, but you have to allow yourself to believe in that. You know, whatever the fucking sh shit, whatever happened, you can grow from that. You're allowed to. You need to. You know, don't allow your past to rule to ruin your future. Just learn from it. Accept it that happened, and just learn from it. You're not your past. You're not your family. You're not well, all these other things. So many people don't know what the fuck they're going. They don't know anything. They really don't know shit, and they expect for you to know everything. Do you know why they expect for you to know everything? Because they don't know anything. And they're too insecure to admit that they don't know anything, that they want you to act like you know everything. It's so weird, dude. It's just, dude, like I keep saying, it's just the masses are running off a cliff and they're bringing everyone with them because they're too afraid to say, okay, we're, fall we're walking off a cliff. But I don't want to admit that we're walking off the cliff because I'm too embarrassed. All these people are looking at me, so I'd rather just fucking go off the cliff. And I guess you guys are just going to have to come with me because I'd rather die. My pride is so strong. I care about my pride so much that I'd rather die an idiot rather than let people know I'm an idiot. I'd rather people know I'm an idiot. I don't care. Because you can be an idiot tomorrow, today and not be an idiot tomorrow if you learn. Dude, come on. Live. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Let's live. Let's live. Let's start living. Seriously. You can't live if you're too afraid to do that. You can't be afraid of making mistakes. The universe is a mistake. <laughs> this world is a mistake. Everything's a mistake. You're a mistake. I'm a mistake. Mistakes happen all the time. Amazing things happen from mistakes. So understand that. You have to make mistakes in order to grow. This world is not creative enough because people aren't af are too afraid to make mistakes. Create creativity and imagination comes from mistakes. It doesn't come from professionalism. It comes from mistakes. It's important to realize that gods are flawed, deities are flawed, the universe is flawed. If the universe is not flawed, then why is our world flawed? Because our world is a reflection of the universe. Right? Come on, 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 come on. Let's go up a little more. You know, it's just, it's just common sense, you know. Just look at life for what it actually is and be there for another and help another. You know, stop trying to act like you're better than everybody. Instead of doing that, try to help people. And stop trying to, what's the word, condemn? Yeah, stop trying to condemn everybody for all these things. Instead, try to help and understand people. See see the world for what it is. Be honest with yourself. Realize that most of us come from fucked up families. Look at the way the world is. Look at the human history. You expect for us to know everything? How the fuck we know everything when our whole history has just been violence and chaos and everything like that? Human history. Come on, man. Like, let's be honest. Can we be honest? We we can't elevate. I mean, at least y'all can't elevate until you're honest with yourselves. I'm elevating regardless. If I got to do it by myself, I'll fucking do it by myself. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, a, I'm, I'm tired of freaking being held back because people... They are too afraid to keep going. Fuck that. I don't do that no more. But yeah, understand, man. You know, that's the reason why, like, for my family, I just hold them accountable for who they are and what they've done. And I want people to hold me accountable for, for, the, for my actions as well. You know, so we can learn. It's not That's not bad. I, I don't put it over anyone, but that's who you are. You know, you can grow from that, though. You know, but... That's why I'm not really upset at my family or anything for their actions or whatever, because I see what has happened. I see the things that has happened to them. I see the circumstances, the car they were dealt with. You know, how can I be upset? You know, if anything, the only thing I would say is that you had children too early. 
that's the only thing I can say. But my mom did the best that she could. That's why I have so much respect for her. But, like, a lot of people just need to be honest about, like, I feel like a lot of people need to try, even if your family won't grow and won't, like, open their minds, if they're too far gone, at least try to understand their situation. I know it's hard for everyone. Everyone's not like me. I like to just dig into things and understand things and make sense out of things because it makes life easier. But just try to, to realize, see things for how it actually is. Everything isn't malicious. Everything really comes from love. But when people become selfish and start getting in the survival mind state, that's when things start to distance, become like, it, it kind of like, wanes from love the love starts to wane like even narcissism and all those different kinds of things um sociopaths psychopaths all these different kinds of things it all originates from love serial killers didn't like jason like the jason thing like didn't like jason's mom became like a serial killer because the teenagers that came at camp crystal lake they were neglectful and jason ended up drowning Right? So that's just revenge, right? It's like revenge, which comes from love. It's not high vibrational. It's low vibrational as fuck. But it's from love. And then Jason is like the same shit. Uh, I don't really remember the story too much. I don't know if it's because either he died is why he came back or because his mom died. I think his mom did die. But it's all that shit comes from love. Like, if you really just look at shit, everything just comes from love. I love watching anime and, and analyzing it. The villains is always love. They always had like the purest intentions, but you know it came from like a lack of love or something like that, or a lack of guidance, or you know hostility or selfishness or or some type of like um, narcissism, narcissism from some side or whatever. It's very interesting. It's so interesting. Like, ooh, should I talk about that? Naruto's old, right? Naruto, Naruto came out like. 2003 in like Japan in 2002 or 2003. I could talk about it, right? I'm pull card. <laughs> Black means I could talk about it. Fuck. Oh, wait, no, I already pulled that card. Wait, that doesn't count. Black means I could. Hey, there were four pinnacles. Okay, Itachi. I just want to talk about Itachi. But like, yeah, because like, I don't think everyone knows about that situation. But. Yeah, like, you know, like, Itachi, like, murdered his family. He murdered his entire clan, right? Like, he murdered his entire fucking clan. He murdered them, you know? And then, like, he only murdered them because he, he was, he was dealt a, like, it was like a, um, what is it, like, an ultimatum? Is that the way how you, is that the word? I don't know, but, like, Donzo's like, okay, man, like, you know, if you want to save the bill, like, like, he was manipulating him, pretty much. Like, he was like, oh, I'll save your brother or whatever the fuck if you just, like, murder the the, the Uchiha. Because, like, Danzo had, like, a thing against the Uchiha and all these different things. Very interesting. This is, it's just very interesting. Like, something that I really like about, like, anime. Like, some animes like that. Like, I'm not into, like, the fighting and stuff like that. I'm more so into, like, the stories. That's what I really like anime for. Just to analyze people's ideals and stuff like that. So, it's really interesting because everyone has, like, this love and they're, like, ways of getting somewhere. But, like, it's just so interesting, like, the paths they take to get there and the and the selfishness and everything like that. If they were to settle their differences and, and just communicate with each other and build a community and accept people for who they are, it wouldn't be all this fighting when they'd be commissing. It's so interesting how you see people fighting people who they're supposed to be allies with and everything like that because of selfish things or, like, sort of like really weird, useless, like, 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 self perspective things that just like it's just like their own illusions and delusions and stuff like that. It's it's so interesting, but like I don't know. Like, I just think it's really, I just see how everyone's just trying to figure life out, right, and trying to navigate through life, and doing what they feel is the best for them, but.
it's really also interesting to understand that we don't really have much guidance in this world. We don't. Who's our guidance? I like to keep everyone like held everyone accountable. There's not many deities that are remembered correctly. That's for one by the public. The public, you know, they just man human everything and there's like so much history that's good for this world has just been erased. So much history that can really help this world be the way how it needs to be is just erased. It was just erased. And then we just keep all the negative low vibrational shit. All the good and everything like that is just erased. You know, it's so fucked. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. So interesting. So interesting. But yeah, this this world doesn't really have much guidance. So like you can't really be upset. But something that I've realized is that, you know, in order for you to understand and appreciate and just realize that, okay, man, these people are going through things and, you know, they're just trying to figure things out. They may not have, you know, much going on at home or much guidance or this or that, whatever. That's why they're making these mistakes. In order for you to be able to get to that point, you have to be at that point yourself. You have to realize that yourself. You have to forgive yourself. And your families and, and your environment and everything like that before you can be able to forgive others. But pretty much just what I'm saying is that everyone's trying to figure things out. And, you know, it's a it's a crazy world. And this human, the reality of humanity, from my perspective, is that humanity will destroy itself if it doesn't forgive itself. If humanity as a whole, I'm not talking about all humans. I'm talking about like the majority. All humans aren't meant to be destroyed. But, and people think like, like people don't realize like they were destroyed. They're destroying themselves. It's not like anything is destroying them. They're destroying themselves. Humanity, the, the humans that are just keep going into this purgatory and this limbo. They're destroying themselves. And the only way for them to stop destroying themselves is for them to forgive themselves. If they can't forgive themselves, they will be destroyed. That's the reality of the situation. That's how I see it. That's the fate that I see for humanity. That's how I see it right now. That's the current fate. But yeah, um, it's really important for you guys to understand that like, it's okay to forgive yourself and understand, you know, like you guys got to stop boxing each other in the prejudiceness. Oh, you can't understand us because we're black. Oh, you can't understand us because we're Asian. No, you don't know racism. Oh, you don't know this, that. You have to see this road for how it actually is. Detach yourself and really see for real what it is. And you'll realize how fucked up this world is. You think your people or whatever the fuck had it bad? Detach yourself. Detach yourself. Just detach yourself. You think your situation is bad? Detach yourself. And then start learning about other perspectives. There's so much shit that has happened throughout this world and that's currently happening that you don't even realize because you're so locked into your own traumas that you, like you, I guarantee you, if you look at a lot of other perspectives, no matter how bad you have it, you probably like, wish that like you're probably grateful that you don't have a lot of other people's fates there's a lot of crazy shit going out here man seriously man be grateful for your life and forgive yourself and forgive those who have you know done you wrong and you know it doesn't mean you have to be in their life or they have to be in your life or anything like that but just kind of see situations for what it is it's time for people to stop looking so much at the past and start looking towards the future. You know, if the past was so amazing, right? Then why the fuck is our present so fucked? Right? The past isn't really doing what we need to do. And a lot of the good things that happened in the past are forgotten. They were either ignored or they were erased. 
And then that will probably end up happening to the majority of humans if they don't get their shit together. Because this has to end eventually. Like, it has to. Because it's not healthy at all. So that's why I'm trying my best to give as much guidance. That's why I'm trying my best to learn a lot. I just want to learn a lot for myself. But, you know, since, you know, I'm doing this, like, mogul, idol, famous thing, I might as well give some advice to people and, and try to help people um, grow. So whoever wants to grow, grow. Whoever doesn't want to grow, decay. It's your life. Pick your feet. But, yeah, I just want people to know that. Like, get, like be better to yourself and understand our history, the world's history, you know? Like, stop trying to act like you're perfect. Stop trying to act like you can't, like, you know all the answers. Like, a lot of you guys don't. That's why you guys can't express yourself. That's why you're so afraid to be yourselves. Because you don't have the right guidance and you're trying to be perfect. You can't. You're not perfect. It, like, I said this before, it reminds me of a book I read in, in like, second grade. It was about, like, being perfect. And, like, the kid, like, just sit there and, like, stood at a wall or some shit. That's how he was able to be perfect. He wanted to be perfect so badly. That's how I see a lot of you guys doing. A lot of you guys are just like NPCs trying to be perfect. Just walk around saying the right thing. Never saying the wrong thing. Like the right thing. The politically right thing to say. Always trying to figure out. Trying to agree with someone else. Or trying to have the same opinions as everyone else. And then you try to correct other people when they're trying to. Do you know, I really get annoyed when I say some shit, right? I have my own opinion or I have this or that. And some fucker tries to tell me, no, you shouldn't do this. No, bitch, don't fucking tell me what the fuck to do. Would you like if I tell you what to do? Don't ever fucking do that shit. I say what the fuck I want to say. You guys are fucking killing yourselves. So I could fucking do what I want. You're killing yourself. You have no fucking right to tell me what to do. You're killing yourself. Don't fucking tell me what to do. I hate that shit. That shit irritates the fuck out of me. Who are you to tell me what to do? Don't fucking tell me what to do. Don't do it. Now, if you're living your life right and you have an opinion, sure. But people who are, like, trying to, like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, if you ever have, like, like, it would just be, like, I'll just have, like, an opinion online. Or I'll just be saying this or that. And some just random ass person just, like, start, like, commenting or trying to say, oh, you just, no, who are you to say this? Bitch, who are you to fucking speak to me? Who are you? I don't fucking know you. Why are you fucking speaking to me? Why? Who are you? Why are you wasting your energy on a random person? If you don't like what the fuck I have to say, go somewhere the fuck else, man. I, don't, I, don't, I get annoyed. Sorry. I get really annoyed. People just irritate the fuck out of me. I don't know. I only show my dark side like that, but I need to show a little more. But I get really fucking irritated because who are you, man? Like, who are you? You're fucking tainting this planet. Who are you, man? Who are you? Stop trying to fucking tell me what to do in my life. It fucking irritates me, man. It makes me furious. But yeah, that's just what I want to say. Take care. Toodles. Have a great day. Be blessed. Happy. Safe. Abundant. Healthy. Healthy. Be healthy. Please be healthy. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Have love in your life. Eat right. Um... Smile, have fun, all these different things. Um, Be confident in yourself. Because a lot of people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Trust me, they really don't. Yeah, take care.